more people are moving to Cedar Park and they're bringing their bicycles with them. With bike rides on the rise, city leaders say they're trying to make sure that the roads are safer for people on two wheels. KXAN's traffic reporter Amanda Dugan explains. So there's a lot of traffic. Whether you're out for a tasty treat. We're biking to come get a snow cone. <laughs> or on your way to school or work. Yeah, it, it saves a lot of money compared to a car, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely how I get around. The city of Cedar Park is exploring new ways to ensure bike safety after a cyclist asked if it was possible to provide more green time at larger intersections for those on two wheels. We saw this as an opportunity to improve uh, both the safety and just their comfort experience as they're riding in our town. Extending green light times at larger intersections for bicyclists by upgrading current signal light software to be able to tell the difference between a waiting car or waiting bike, then extending the existing green light times for bikes. And then there's a comfort factor there too. Because it's, uh, it's, it's very uncomfortable to, uh, to know that there's somebody, in a conflicting vehicle waiting to get through the intersection and they have a green light while you're still in front of them because you are in a slower moving vehicle when you're riding your bike. I think that's a really good idea, especially uh, there's a lot of bikers. I know, I know a lot of new bikers in the area. I think it's a good idea. It'll give them access to, you know, take their time, not feel rushed. Testing is currently underway at three intersections. Officials say once they are satisfied with testing results, they'll install the extended green light software in more locations. Amanda Dugan, KXA News. The length of extra time a light will stay green as part of the current testing. The city says it would depend on the size of an intersection.